I'm going to talk about Charles Babbage. Charles Babbage, an English mathematician, philosopher, inventor, and mechanical engineer, originated the concept of a digital programmable computer, who was born in 26 December 1781 and died 18 October 1871. He was considered as father of computer because of analytic and differential engines that he improved. He had a big portion in that area of development of today's machines. He was the first scientist who thought about the mechanical computer. When we talk about early life. He was born in Devonshire. His family and ancestor has big property. He studied in Cambridge. He was very interested in man. He had thought that he, he was born to be a scientist. He emphasized the efficiency of manufacturing. In Cambridge studies, he realized that mathematic tables consist so many errors. These tables were human made. He was planning to develop a calculator that prevents human's mistakes. He had an English government fund which had an amount of 700,000 sterling. When the year were 1830, he succeeded to invent this machine. This machine were planned to do arithmetic operations by using instructions that comes from electronic cards with holes that called punch card. Additionally, it had a storage that can hold numbers and check systems to execute instructions step by step. Moreover, there were a printer that works integrated with this calculator. This differential engine could calculate 10 digits. After all, this machine ensured that his most known contribute to development of data processing. After this differential engine, he started to study on a more complex project that will be called as analytical machine. This machine will burn with steam power and would have more functions than previous machine. Unfortunately, he couldn't complete this machine. But by his plans about logic operation unit, storage unit, IO unit led to fundamental principles of today's computers. After all, he was started to call as father of computer. Because of his very interest fields, he was described as superior among the many polymath of his century. He taught the Royal Institution on Astronomy in 1815 and was elected a fellow of the Royal Society in 1860. After graduation, he had little in the way of career. In that year, he was a candidate for a teaching job at Haleyberg College in 1819. Babbage visited the Paris and Society of Arcueil, meeting leading French mathematicians and physicists. That year, Babbage applied to be professor at the University of Edinburgh. Herschel, his friend, and Babbage studied on the electrodynamics of Aragos rotations. In 1825, their explanations were would be used by Faraday. The phenomena are now part of the theory of eddy currents, and Babbage and Herschel missed some of the clues to combining of electromagnetic theory, staying close to Ampere's force law. On his father's death in 1827, Babbage inherited a large estate, value around £100,000, making him independently wealthy. After his wife's death in the same year, he spent his time to the travel. In April 1828, he was in Rome and relying on Herschel to manage the difference engine project. When he heard that he had become professor at Cambridge, a position he had three times to fill to obtain in coming six years. Babbage had found the analytical society, whose object was to introduce developments from the European continent into English mathematics. In 1816, he was elected an academician of the Royal Society of London. He was instrumental in founding the Royal Astronomical and Statistical Societies. Royal Astronomical Society Its original aims were to reduce astronomical calculations to a more standard form and to propagate data. These directions were closely connected with Babbage's ideas on computation, and in 1824 he won its gold medal called for his invention of an engine for calculating mathematical and astronomical tables. Academy In the meantime, he served as location professor of mathematics at the University of Cambridge. 
He wrote three topical books during this period of his life. The which failures about developing the analytical machine were due to poor of technology in these days. Parts of Babbage's uncompleted mechanism are on display in the London Science Museum. In 1991, a perfectly functioning difference engine was constructed from Babbage's original plans. Built to tolerance achievable in the 19th century, the success of the finished engine indicated that Babbage's machine would have worked. Babbage's machines were among the first mechanical computers. That they were not actually completed was largely because of finding problems and personality issues. We can say this invention is laid of foundations of the new age. Thanks for watching and sorry for poor English.